my lovers welcome to my channel my name is made for love and welcome to another third party or karmic reading so this is a relationship with, that is not you and your person so if your person's with somebody else this is going to be um that reading do not look at my nail polish because i just realized um that they're a bloody mess but <laughs> they are they truly are but um I'm not stopping the reading. I'm already inside the energy. I'm not stopping the reading for that. Okay, so let us begin. And I'm going to start with um, the Heart of the Fairy Oracle deck. Okay, so I don't know about you guys, and I don't know if it's the moon's energy, but I've been having some lucid, wacky-ass dreams, guys. I'm so clear. I swear they were happening. And I wake up at 3 in the morning. And I just can't sleep. And I'm usually a person I get my proper I get my proper rest. But it's just been nuts. And I said, okay, well, I'm up early. So let me go do what I have to do for the day, which was some Akashic journeys. And I can't really connect to the Akasha today. So <laughs> I said, let me come and do readings. Um, the moon's energy always hits me hard. Okay, what is the energy of this um, connection right now? It is the shape shifter. Things are shifting, things are moving, and it looks like people are trying to adjust to the heavy transformative energies that are happening um, in this connection. Now, if you notice, this is a card number 14, okay? And 14, of course, is temperance. Temperance is all about being refined by spirit. Temperance is a card of karma. Temperance about being balanced, you know, and being balanced by force. Being balanced by force, right? Um, and it's in order for you to learn some sort of spiritual lesson because 14 reduces to 5, which is the Hierophant. Okay, so change. things are shifting and moving. I see someone here. Their eyes are closed. Their eyes are closed. But there is a lot of of messages and stuff coming through um the crown look the spirit guides everybody's connecting with them here so i think a person is shifting position but also the person that they're with also shifting position as well okay so let's get an energy um, of your person towards um this connection right now we have 41 we have the lady of the unicorn so they are high vibe um and i'm noticing that unicorn horn looks like an antenna they are receiving downloads from the divine they are purifying themselves everybody in this card is naked so they're being stripped away um and the image of this reminds me the of the image of the full card in I think it's a psychic tower of the heart. One second. Because this is what this person is doing right now. They're surrendering to a, and, and surrendering and learning a particular a lesson. Um, and this is something that might be might be, be might be being mirrored to them right now because we had 14 and now we have 41. Okay. Also, although that could suggest some kind of flip. It's like your person's flipped a switch. They're flipping a script here. They're flipping a script or a program, especially a traditional program that's been handed down to them by their ancestors. They're flipping the switch on a program that's been handed down to them by their ancestors. Some sort of traditional programming. Well, they tell me pull another card from here. Um, <laughs> one second. I was gonna pull. A, um, show you the psychic tower of the heart, but we forget. Let's forget that. They said pull another card from here. A program connected to what? The Smith. They are working hard on themselves, but look at what he's pounding on that anvil it's a bloody moon they're flipping the switch on a program related to 
intuition, spirituality, laws of the universe. They're refining their own thoughts and beliefs when it comes to things that <clears throat> are in number four. <clears throat> so the vibration of number four, well, of course, number four is the emperor, right? So they're flipping the script, the, the script. God, they got to slow down. They got to slow down. <laughs> There's too much info coming in all at once. Slow down, slow down. They're flipping the script on what it means. They're flipping the script or the program on what it means to be masculine. Okay. They're deviating from what they have been taught. They're flipping the script on what their spiritual or religious beliefs are. They're flipping the script on their idea of work, actual work. Okay. What work is supposed to mean? What, like how to manifest. I think this person, you know, they may have bought into hard work has its reward or hustling has its reward, but they're realizing that work is much more than that. Work is creation. Work is creation, vibration of three, and work is manifestation, the vibration of one. They're forging a new beginning for themselves by turning the tables on what they have been taught or programmed to believe. Good Lord. <laughs> Too many things are coming through. Sorry, guys. All right. So big changes on how they view life in a nutshell. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry, I had to pause. Uh, I had to struggle through that. <laughs> it was just too much. I'll take it piece by piece. Okay. Um, and the karmic or third party. What's the energy towards this connection right now? Okay, let's have a look. The Queen of Passage. They are also. Ooh, what you doing, sis? The Raven. The Queen of. I am also getting that they are in transition. And this woman is veiled. This woman is veiled. So, and also in the vibration of five, your person, the vibration of five with that 41 there, and they are also in the vibration of five. So they are learning. Hold on. They are learning, Spirit is saying, they are, they are learning a lesson by going through the fire. So they are also in that wheel of fire, that refinement by spirit. They are also going through an initiation. There's a truth also that they are recognizing about love because she has a heart in her hand. And they also, they are recognizing that they also deserve to be loved. This is a message that came to them from the spirit realm. Look, the raven is here. This message came to them from the spirit realm. That they also deserve to be loved. Um, I'm going to pull another card from this deck. Spirit, please clarify. They also are recognizing that they have the power. They are empowered to change their circumstance. And they also deserve to be loved. Hold on. Spirit, clarify first, please. The leaving. They, they are leaving. Um... They perceive that it's going to be a task, but they, they are leaving. Either they are leaving or your person is leaving. 
but I think they are leaving and they're getting a helping hand um, from their, their ancestors and their spirit guides. They are leaving. This is the fool. Look at this. Yes, it's Roxac, right? Somebody here is leaving because they are choosing themselves. We have the vibration of 54 and that reduced to 9. They are choosing themselves. They are leaving. Because they have learned an important lesson. We have the Hierophant. An important lesson about four. About love, stability, commitment, maybe even marriage. They're leaving. They're leaving. Um, they realize that they also deserve to be loved. This is why the, the, the underlying energy was the shapeshifter. Everybody is shifting right now with this energy. Everybody. Let's look at what um, East Persian. Now, we're not watching this. Just a reminder. We're not watching this to Marco. But we are watching this because these persons are also mirroring back to us ourselves. So if they are shifting, it means then, and if you, DF, one that's watching, you are the leader in the healing of this triad. If they are shifting, it means then there was a vibrational shift within you. And you are also choosing yourself. You are also recognizing that you deserve to be loved. And you are also changing your views on maybe commitment, spirituality, and some of the cycles that you've been in. And maybe even your ideas about work and manifestation. Let me know down below. Are these the things that you've been thinking about? All right. How is your person feeling in this situation? Not necessarily about the karmic partner how's your person feeling let's get about Ooh. all right they're feeling reckless um and usually this mind nominal card but with the energy i see here this is a leap of faith kind of energy that i'm feeling right here okay so they're feeling reckless just feel like this is uh, that that sounds like yolo yolo <laughs> as spirit saying risk it for the biscuit they're going to risk it for the biscuit. YOLO, that's what I heard. They feel burdened. But I'm not getting burdened by responsibilities today. I'm getting burdened by knowledge. Burdened by knowledge. Because they have a new way of thinking. Um, there's a, they're, already, they're already being. They're being something else already. They're changing. They're changing. But they're still physically in the midst of something old, something that doesn't match the inner them. They feel burdened by knowledge and they feel shocked. All right, we're going to pull a card on that. What are they shocked by? What are they shocked by? How foolish they've been. It's like they're beating themselves up. How could I not see what I am now seeing? How could I not see what I am now seeing? Oh, man. Nothing happens before it's time. It, it doesn't. You have to be ready um, to receive. And this person looks like they weren't ready to receive the knowledge that they are receiving now and incorporating now. They just weren't ready before. But they're beating themselves up. Nothing happens before it's time. Absolutely nothing. And your person has to recognize that. How's this kind of partner feeling? Oh, they're suspicious. But I'm getting the, their their suspicions. I think their sp suspicions has been crystallized in some particular kind of way. Let me pull another card. Mm -hmm. We have projection. 
Now, I, I am getting... Um, they're perceiving your person as changing. And, and they're correct. <laughs> they're correct in that. But they're not realizing that they too um, are changing. Okay? And they might have been suspicious about your person in terms of, you know, not being faithful, cheating, lying, and all that. Because this is the energy um, that they embody. This is the energy that they embody. Now, they are feeling enthusiastic. What are they enthusiastic about? Getting to the bottom of things, I heard. Yeah. Nine of Wands in, return, in reverse. Page of Cups. They're also enthusiastic about a new journey, new love. I'm feeling like they have their own partner. There's, there's somebody um, that they are in love with. Not your person. I don't think it's your person. There's somebody that they are in love with. Mm -hmm. So they're enthusiastic about new love. So this is big energies coming through um, this connection. It's destabilizing energies. Um, it's transformative um, energies. Let's see what each person is healing right now. And remember, if they are healing it, most likely, it also means that you are healing um, these wounds as well. Let's see, what are they healing right now? I'll get two for each person. What are they healing right now? Okay, we have cheating. Cheating. Being unfaithful, betrayal. That's what they're healing right now. Not being committed to self. Non committal, avoidant, self sabotage. Or they might be healing the wounds that come from healing. From <laughs> They might be healing the wounds that come from cheating or having been cheated on. You know? That defensiveness, a lack of trust. All right, let's see. What are they healing right now? Your person. All right, your person is coming out as body image issues. Okay, this is where they're healing. They're they're they're, they're low self esteem. I'm um, a low self concept. Um, I don't think it's as a result um, of the situation, but I think what's further exacerbated by um, the situation. What are they healing? We have a blank card. They're returning to the fool's energy. They're returning to innocence. They, um, I'm really getting dark night of the soul because look, we have here suicidal ideation. So this blank slate and suicidal ideation makes me think that they're going through um, dark night of the soul right now. So there's a lot of things that are coming up um, for healing, but particularly... Um, their self-image, the way how they see themselves, this mirror. I think this person has always seen themselves through a kind of distorted mirror. So this is something that they're healing right now. And the third party, what are they healing? They have their own insecurities. So they're definitely mirroring each other. So they have their own insecurities um, that they are powering through. Okay, um, they have also been the victim um, of manipulative people, narcissistic people. Okay, they've also been the subject of narcissistic abuse. Okay, and maybe that's where they learn to manipulate others in order to control um, a particular situation. And they're also healing their relationship um, with the material world. Maybe this is for someone who is quite materialistic. So, as I said, everybody here in this situation um is healing right now all right let me see your person's thoughts um for this third party your person's thoughts regarding a third party
underneath the deck, we have the emperor. So it's the, it's the emergence of the divine masculine that we're seeing here right now. Okay. Everything is changing for them. And it's because they have, they are allowing themselves to see truth. Look at sword. <laughs> Anywho's, um, look at sword, the sword of truth, the sword of truth is in his hand. So he's seeing things, um, as they truly are. Okay. There's no illusion anymore. What's he thinking about the third party right now? Mental energy. Okay. We have the seven of cups in reverse. And, and that's a card of clarity. Because seven of cups upright, it talks about illusions. It talks about options. We have the ten of wands in reverse. We have the sun in reverse, Leo, and we have the knight of swords in reverse. What are they thinking um, about the third party or comic partner? Well, apparently a lot. Okay, apparently a lot. Okay, um, they're realizing that this comic is no longer an option for them and they feel burdened by that knowledge because they are still kind of limited um, in how they're viewing the situation. They're still viewing this, this situation out, out of a I am trapped mindset, okay? But from the kind of big shifts that they're making, I think that's easily going to be um, thrown out the window. So they still feel burdened by this information. They're seeing that this karmic is not an option, okay? Because they're finally seeing the karmic through the eyes of truth and not through the veil of illusion. And, you know, you know people say knowledge is power, but sometimes... Knowledge can be a burden, especially when those around you um, are refusing to see, are refusing to see. They're also recognizing that they're not happy here. They're not happy here and, and that they've been living a lie, Knight of Swords, um, in reverse. They're seeing as well um, that this karmic, um, it's very egotistical and narcissistic. But remember, the karmic is only egotistical and narcissistic because they too have been the victim um, of manipulative people. That's just what they were modeled. That they're just modeling what they saw. So nobody's ever born that way or anything like that. Everybody's a a product of circumstance. I don't want to say victim of circumstance. A product of circumstance. Well, your person seeing them clearly. Not, they're not happy in this situation. Neither of them are happy in this situation. They're not happy in this situation. And they also view the karmic as being a, a pathological liar. A pathological liar. The karmic is not someone um, that they can trust. And all this is a burden. All this is a burden. And they feel, you know, trapped by it all. Because the truth just wants to be set free. The truth that wants to be set free. Let me ask. Why does your person feel burdened? We have four of cups. Yeah, they're bored. They're bored. They're ready for something new. They're ready for stimulation. They're ready to explore or and and and, and expand upon all these downloads um, that they're getting. Queen of Pentacles in reverse. That's the gold again karmic. Capricorn energy. Right? Knight of Pentacles in reverse. That's Virgo paranoia. And then we have the four of swords in reverse, hurt and wounded. So your person just hurt and wounded by everything, okay? They're just, it's just like they've had this sudden download, sudden realization that you saw from day one, <laughs> that you saw from day one, that this karmic is just about the material world, okay? That this karmic is paranoid, that this karmic is wounded. Um, and from their perspective, 
um, is not changing or healing. Well, we know that's not true because the karmic is changing. But from their perspective, your person's perspective, perspective, they're seeing that this karmic will never change. And there's just been a lot of hurt and pain in the situation. Now, this boredom card is also a card of depression. Because when we look on the emotional spiral, boredom is the start of that downward spiral into suicidal ideation. So your person, they're feeling very depressed because it's like everything has hit them all at once. Everything. Everything they were supposed to realize and recognize about themselves and the person that they're with, it's like everything has come down on them all at once. It's like, you know, standing underneath a waterfall. Everything is just coming down all at once. And it's, it's, they're overwhelmed by it all. They're overwhelmed by it all. What do they want you to know about this situation right now? We're asking their higher self. What does their higher self want you to know about the situation? In the extended, I'm going to go a little deeper. I'm going to look at their heart space energy. For the karmic, I'm going to look at what the karmic is thinking about them, what the karmic is thinking about you, um, what the karmic is hiding at this time. And I'm going to look at what's going to be the outcome of this connection within a month of you watching this reading. But for now, let's get the message from the higher self. Okay, what does the higher self want you to know um, about the situation? Um, seven of Wands in reverse. Queen of Cups, that's you. Ooh. Wheel of Fortune. They're saying stand back. <laughs> that's what I heard, stand back. And Ten of Swords in reverse. The higher self is, is telling you, stand back. There's no action that you need to take right now with the seven of wands in reverse. There's absolutely no action that you need to take. All you need to be doing is standing there um, in love. Because I don't know, this queen of cups reminds me of the empress, right? Reminds me of the empress right now. Spirit is saying, trust your intuition. And you just stand there um, in love. Spirit has got this with this wheel of fortune card. Um, they are working on this. And it looks like this situation is going to be catalyzed by some sort of big betrayal if this has not happened already. Because we see the Ten of Swords um, in reverse. They're also letting you know that your person is going to be coming to you um, with some sort of very vulnerable um, message. Okay, That's also going to catalyze your relationship. What's that message? <laughs> I gotta ask for you guys. Um, we have the Eight of Pentacles in reverse. The Hanged Man in reverse. I hear Lauren. Is it Lauren Hill? It ain't working. That's what I'm hearing. Four of Pentacles in reverse. And three of pentacles in reverse. Yes, so all the cards line up. Um, they're coming forward to tell you that they're taking action with regard to this connection. It ain't working. <laughs> That's the eight of pentacles. I'm going to call the eight of pentacles in reverse. Um, from now on, the it ain't working card. It ain't working. They're coming to tell you it ain't working. Okay. And that they're releasing um, this third party energy. We have the four of pentacles in reverse. We have the three of pentacles in reverse. So that's a pretty clear message there. Um, and this is going to catalyze the whole situation between you guys. What should be your response? Let's ask for it. So they're coming through with a message. That's going to catalyze the situation. What's, what's, what should be the response for it? Saying allowing them to close that door. That's what I just heard. Spirit saying mind your business. <laughs> Prosperity. Okay. Focus on your abundance. Okay. Don't take your eye off the bright. 
It says, focus on the positive and more good will come. Give thanks for blessings and they will multiply. Prosperity begins in the mind. So when they come forward, it's not a time to mind fuck yourself about whether this person um, is genuine or not. Okay. We manifest our reality. So from the time those words start repeating in your mind, this person trying to trick me, this person trying to play a fast one on me, say, thank you thoughts for visiting. Bye. And you just focus on a positive outcome. But I'm also hearing, allow them to properly close this door. Okay. So don't sabotage yourself by thinking that your person's coming to trick you. They're not. It says here, quest. Be bold. <laughs> exactly. Be bold. And mighty forces will aid you. Take action. Good luck favors the brave. Right? So all these thoughts about they're coming to hit me, they're trying to trick me. All these come from a place of fear. Spirit is saying, log into your heart space. Use your discernment. Okay? And you will find that this person is genuine. And there's a time to be bold. Okay? Take that leap of faith. But... Also, allow this person to close this door. Okay? Also, allow this person to close this door. So, let me go deeper into the energies in the extended. But just want to say that I'm grateful for everything that you guys do for this channel. You guys have been so great by do donating to the Coalition Against Domestic Violence. So great about <laughs> purchasing extended. So great about your comments and your likes your subscribes and i just say i'm absolutely grateful for it thank you so very much take care